Hey folks, it's Ridgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. Encroaching clear. Right, that's encroaching clearance as well. So we want to shift this belt now. And we want to do so in such a way that we can make good use of it. Now get that one. That one. And get that one. And then... See, over here... That's taking up a lot of space going all the way down through there. I'm wondering if I might move that. I won't at the moment. I won't worry about moving that just yet. I will take this one off. Oops. There, move that one. Uh, I've got 86 coal on me. I was, I was just wondering if I take out a bit more coal, if I would be able to get more on me. But no, not really. Uh, so let's go... There. So this one here, I know is not running at a straight angle over here. We weren't too concerned about a straight angle with this one because it's a temporary measure. This is just a temporary feature until we change some stuff around and do things a bit differently. Let's put you there. And then bring that belt over there, yeah. I don't want to go that way. I'll go on to there. Go on to there as well. And I'll bring you up along here. That's actually going to work quite nicely. It'll go right up to there. How far is it going to go? That's as far as it will go. And then it can go into that bit. Right. There's the conveyor. It goes all the way around. We've cleared a little bit of extra space over there. Uh, 80, 90. I need exactly 100 coal to go and do. So that will open up the other uh, little recipe that I've got, won't it? In here. I'm going to go and do that in a minute. You know what I really like, though, is this. Right? This is awesome. This is absolutely epic. Being able to leap along it like that is just fantastic. It really is. Now, let's go and have a look into you. There is 100 of those. So that gives me two steel ingots every so often. But now, the problem that we've got is that once I've learned the new recipe, it's not that the, the issue is not going to be what I've got at the moment. The issue is going to be what we will want. And being able to use the new steel recipe will mean that we're going to have to forge iron first and then once we forge the iron bars we've then got to convert the iron bars um, into steel right at the moment the steel is just staying you know the, we we make steel directly from iron ore but we're going to have to add in an extra step into the whole process that's going to make it a little bit more difficult i mean it's not impossible not by any stretch but it's still going to make it a little bit more difficult than what it is right now so there we go Select milestone and 100 of them and 100 of them. Launch. Okay. Alternate steel ingot has now been done. I got those two to do. I've got the gas mask to do, which I don't have anywhere near the materials. It's Bayer process that I want. It's this one right here. Nuclear power will happen, but I'm not all that concerned about it at the moment. It's this one so we can get the conveyors mark five, which is going to be spectacular. You know that that is going to be spectacular. Everybody knows that. Oh, that's finished. No, it hasn't. It's got four minutes to go. Right. Uh, okay, well, there's that little bit. So we've now got a new steel recipe that we can use. We're not ready to use it yet. I need to get power up to that one and power out to the one over there. More importantly right now, let's see if I can do this this time. I come over on here. Onto there? No. I was hoping I could maybe land on it or something, but apparently that's not a thing. That's, that's not a thing, and it's not going to be a thing. What else did I want to do? Well, to start with, I want to put some of these down. So I'll put foundation up to there, like that. Now, I'm not going to go any further. This foundation line along here well where it is over to here that can stay where it is I actually no it can't that one there needs to go 
I would get rid of these foundations over to here. This also. Alright. Let's um, dismantle this back. And this one. All the way to there. Okay. That, I think, is far enough. So then I'll need to raise the level of the platform up a little bit. And then I'll be able to do some more work. So in order to raise the level of the platform up a little bit, uh, those three at the back, they can go. They are most definitely going to be in the wrong place. So we'll take you out. And I may as well remove these. We'll just keep this all in a straight line, I think. So they can go. That one will stay for a second. And I will go like this. And then I will go like this. And I will go foundations. Because I've only got a steep foundation at the moment. I want a two meter ramp. Uh, so you right there like that. Because I think a two meter one is going to be high enough. I don't think I'm going to need anything more than that. So then I can put that one onto there. And there like that. And I can just bring this one along like this. See? This is going to be the edge of the base over to here. And that should then take it just high enough to be able to do what I want to do with it. All right, so I can run conveyors up and down here without any problem. Over this side, it doesn't really matter, does it? I, I, don't, I don't actually need to put very many of these in at all. I'm going to do it anyway, just so that we can have a tidy edge on that one. And then up here, I don't want to do that. I just want to go back to these like this there see that one into there and that one into there and I can come along like this I can put that in there click all of those in and I can also do it up here as well why is that whose floor is too steep whose clearance are you encroaching on there oh look I got Caterium Ore there. That's that's why. That's that's what I'm encroaching. I didn't realise I had some there. Um, stone. Yeah, you know, the stone underneath. That's not going to be a problem either. So I can come out here. I can make this. Oh, that was me encroaching that clearance. Definitely don't want to put that one down there. I can put this one, and then that one. I don't want to do any more there, and I'll put that one. Right. That's everything that I can do there for a second, and we've now got this raised level, and that should be enough to be able to go through. I can bring that back all the way over here, should I need to. I don't think I need to go back quite that far, but I am able to if I want to, and I also don't think I need to go and blow up those other bits, which is just going to save us all. All it's going to do is going to save us a little bit of time, that's all. Um, that's, that's not a bad thing. Actually, I want to go down here for this. We'll drop into here. And how much have I got left in here? One, two, three, four. You know what? Just take all. There. Fill the thing up. That's what we want. Now I can go back up. Can I get... I can. I can go up there. If I run up this one, like that, and then... Oh, wait, what? You can't get up on top of the mining drill. I thought you could get right up on top of it. Uh, I can jump up on there, though, so that it's not the end of the world or anything. But I honestly, I thought you could get right up on top of that. I'm feeling slightly cheated by this whole thing now. I really did think that I could get right up on top of that mining drill. Okay, I definitely didn't want to put that one up there. Now I come out of here, and we will go like that. And then we will bring out this level over here. This is the only slight... I'll have to go... I'll, I'll bring the chainsaw back along in a bit. I'm not going to worry about the chainsaw right now. Um, the only... like This is... Well, it's not the only. This, this is one big issue I have with this game. Is how long it takes to put floors in. Right? Floors are... Kind of essential to massive scale. As, as soon as you go for really big scale production, a floor becomes an absolute necessity. But it takes so long to actually put the floor in. And this this is 
one slight complaint I've got with this game at the moment, and I'm hoping that there are going to be techniques and methods and, and alternatives and, and things that we'll be able to unlock later on in the game that will allow us to put the floor in a lot faster. Like, can we put a... A six by six area of flooring down that would be really good or a, um, a thing that's like ten pieces of floor in any one direction a bit like the conveyor belts really because the conveyor belts you, you've got the option there to extend them out however you want to haven't you and it makes a big difference to how everything runs and there the stone is actually going in underneath so that is working perfectly and I bring you over this way like that, put all those ramps in, and another one there. Okay. That's everything that I wanted to do on that bit. So now I can go up here, and I can keep extending out along here, like this. I don't know how far I want to go. I am going to remove that a minute. There. Get rid of you, and get rid of you. And I'm probably going to get rid of that bit over there as well in a second. We'll finish doing this floor out this side, though. Out to there, I think. That's probably far enough for a minute, because we've got material that we need to clean up back on that end. Which I don't really... I can't really yeah, there's, there's more stuff here that I've got to pick up. Well, I can... This I can at least do quickly, like this. I don't have to use the chainsaw to get this. Uh, those I can ignore. That I can ignore. That I can pick. Like this, just very quickly with the leaves. The problem is that my chainsaws run out of fuel and I can't be bothered to sit and make more fuel and that's slowing me down because I'm being lazy. Right. There. And then another one out to there and right now... No, I won't do anything there. We'll leave that corner for a minute and we can come back and do that later when I do have the chainsaw because I can use the chainsaw to clear the stones so long as I've got enough empty space in my bags because we've got magic chainsaws around here. We've got chainsaws you can cut down, you know, you, you can actually cut up stone with. And this is a good thing, right? I mean, this is a sci-fi game, so we, we can easily accept that our chainsaw can cut stone. Right? If it wasn't a sci-fi game, if it was, a say, a medieval game, then yes, I'd be a bit more concerned if I was given a chainsaw that can cut stone. Because that wouldn't be realistic, would it? That wouldn't be true to the period. They had... Ab none of the chainsaws that they had in the Middle Ages would cut stone. I, I can say with absolute certainty that they did not have stone-cutting chainsaws in the Middle Ages. Right? Uh, that, that is, I'm, I'm going to state that categorically i'm gonna say that that is fact i don't often say that it is a definite but actually now that i'm saying that someone's probably going to tell me well actually they did have chainsaws in the middle ages that cut stone um i know the theory behind a chainsaw that doesn't actually have an engine on it and i am aware that there could very well have been things like that in the middle ages but i'm not aware that one would actually be able to um, cut stone or not. It's basically, you just have a chain and you just keep running it over and over and over on the same spot for absolutely ages. Like, you just keep cycling through. Um, so you could have a water-driven one. So in theory, you could have it. Whether or not any such thing actually existed, I don't know. That's, that's the only thing. Is that I, I'm not sure if any such thing actually existed at any point. You know, I am going to put those down there. I won't bother putting one there. And then I'm going to go to you. And we're going to go to logistics. I'm going to go to that one. And we're going to drop you down here like this. I'm going to spin you round. It's going to have to go like that. And then I'm going to take a conveyor belt out of that one. No, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one, that conveyor pole. I'm going to drop that down. But where am I going to put it? Right, I've got some coming in from over there. I've got one from here, and I've got another one that's going to come in from the south down there. So, um, at the moment, I'm kind of wondering where I should be putting the infeed. I'm thinking there would be a good spot. And then I can put another one there like that. And then I can go here like this and take that one onto there. 
And then that one can go down onto there. So it's a little bit of a twist onto the beginning of it. But other than that, it's absolutely fine. Then you over here, I want to take that one there. And you're going to go up onto there like that. And then you're going to go over this way. Kind of like that. And you're going to turn around a corner like that. And you're going to turn around a corner like that. And you're going to come up this way a bit. Like this. To there. And you're going to turn around a corner like that. And get to that point right there. Yes. And then we're going to go with a conveyor merger, which is this one. And this particular conveyor merger is going to turn that way, like that. I'm going to drop it there. And then I'm going to take that. And... Wait, what? Oh no, that is going the right way. That's coming into there. This this one needs to go a minute. So get rid of that. And I'll also get rid of that bit. And then we're going to go and have a look over here. There's no reason that this can't work. Oh, yes, there is. Right, so we'll go in there. So what's going on here? Have, have I turned... It's going the right... Oh, I know what's going on here. Don't worry, I know what's going on here. I need to remove this bit. That belt's got to go, and that one's got to go. It's not quite long enough to go into there. So then if we go back onto there, uh, that one does indeed go in where it should. That one will also go in where it should, into there. And now I need to get the other belt from down there. I've got a belt here that will go out. That one will go that way. That goes out like that, see? And then the other one, this one goes in here. So I have a belt coming out, and I want one coming in, which means I kind of want to bring it up over there and then sort of, I don't know, twirl it round or put it onto that one, something like that. I don't know. Um, so I've got everything here onto a single belt. I think we will make use of where this belt is here. Why aren't you moving? Right. I can't put the... Right, if I drop that one there, that's... Oh, no, that's not clipping. I thought for a minute that was clipping. So I can put that one there, and I only need to go up by, like, one point on there, don't I? And I can put one there, and I can put one... Where's it? It's, it's out to there, right. Yeah, I can put one there as well. And then go up here. Oops. Stand onto there. Yeah, that's all. That's going in the right direction over there. So then I can come over this way. Now, this belt here did need to come out round like that. So then I can take this one and I can put that that way. You can go to here. Yeah, that's the spot that I want to go to. And then you can go round that corner there. You can come over to this side. About there. And then you can come over to here. Ooh. I need to do that in a short section. There we go. That's better. Right, that will come over to there. And then you will stay down to the ground there before you head up. And connect onto that one. So there's not a lot of clearance there. But there is more than enough for what we want. That's going to go up by one level there. And then that's going to move over to that section there. And then it's going to move over to that section right there. And then it's going to come off of there. And it's going to keep going off. This is my straight line where I need it to run. Right up through here. And that's actually the very edge of where it's going to run, right to there. So then I can go on further. 
And I can take it over to that point right there. Turn it round. And it will be able to go along here, like this. Up there, like that. So now I've got that conveyor merger right there. I'm going to put another merger on here. I put that one onto there, like that. So that now connects onto this one. And we'll put it... I'll put it about there, I think. Something like that. And that one can go straight into there. So I've now got limestone going all the way up through and going through there. I need to go back up and set up both of those mining drills so that we've got limestone being extracted from all of them. So I need to get a little bit of power over this side. And then once we've done that, we're then able to start setting up some constructors making concrete. Need lots and lots of concrete. That's my next thing. Right, where am I going to take the power from? I think I might go over this side. And also, I need to see how the power is... Well, we can easily see how the power is doing in just a minute. Uh, yeah, you're going over that way. I'm going to want to extend that out soon. I'm going to want to do a massive expansion on some of that. Let's go over here. You know, I'm curious about something. If I bring this one. Explorer. All right, make that one a minute. I also need to... No. Yeah, open the work... That's what I want to do. Open the workbench. Right. I went and left all... I, I, I got the timber, and then I went and left it behind, didn't I? Okay, so I will leave the explorer there for a second. I've got some material here that I can chop up. But there's, there's actually a bit... Oh, I've got bauxite right there. I had caterium just back a little bit. There's quite a number of different things here that I can chop up and use. That's handy to know. No, I want to go up here because there is actually some work that I want to do the chainsaw over this side and over in the other corner. So I'll jump down here first and I will chop this lot up. I've got enough room here so I need to very quickly chop down uh, a craft bench like that and I can go into here and I can uh, biomass, biofuel requires biomass okay so I've got to I've got to make the biomass first then I can make the biofuel for my chainsaw like that then I can go into here uh, no into here and I can set the chainsaw going and I can start using the chainsaw right Let's chop down that lot there so I've finally removed that tree that that tree has been there a fair while well, since we started playing the game, technically, but you, you, you get the idea. Uh, why wouldn't it grab that one? Slightly annoying sometimes. You've got to get right down to the very base of the tree. You can't just, like, look at the leaves at the very top. It would be so much easier if you could do that, wouldn't it? Let's just take this bit here. There. That's clearing a little bit more. I'm, I can hear I'm, I'm gathering up bits of limestone as well. See? Loads of chunks of limestone all the way along there. I don't want any more from down here. Mostly it's, it's stuff that I want to do up over the other side. But at least we've cleared that tree out of the way. And I'm going to go up over here. And the reason that I want to go and grab this lot now is because then I can start burning the leaves and the wood for... Oh, i got one here. Can I get that? There. Nice. Right, grab that lot there and then also get these. Is there a little bit of like there's no limestone coming out of that i got loads of space right that's good it was i was just wondering about the, the room i had for a minute whether or not we had enough room to do everything that i want to do so now we'll go up over here and clear a few of these little bits out here there like that you can specifically go for those and clear them if you want to i do sometimes as you've noticed let's take that one out there and then a few more of these over here. I'm also going to clear that one. Not enough space. Yeah, that's fine. And that one, nice. It's gotten rid of the stone. 
if we can clear the stone like this, it makes life a lot easier for us. We should have enough room now without me having to clear too much more over there. I'll come in here and we will clear this lot. Like that. And then i got more in here that I can take out. That's all of those done. Back this way. Yes. And there. Well, that's most of it in there, isn't it? And all of that lot. This will clear a load more stuff. Right, that is everything now. I've, I've cleared back everything back from these sides. So I don't need to worry about that. i got nine biofuel left. Let's clear that chainsaw. I've got 74 leaves. 30, oh, no, I've, I've actually got a full stack of them down there. I'll ditch the petals. Petal. And if I run down over here, if I turn it into biofuel, that will last longer in the car, won't it? And also it takes up less space in my bag. So we go to here, the biofuel right there. So I need to go down here. Biomass leaves, 342. That does 10 leaves at a time. So I'll quickly hammer through that stack right there. And then I've got biomass wood right there. Uh, I've only got 135 actual pieces of wood. And it gives you 25 each time. So we get loads and loads of the biomass turn up. Wood, I had an exact number. Leaves, I've got four leaves left. I'm going to ditch those. And then we go to biofuel right here. Four of the biofuel makes two of the... Uh, four, four, four biomass makes two biofuel. So I can end up with quite... This, this one's going to take me a minute. And that is all of the biomass. Just turn that one there. I ditched that there. Okay, loads of those. Let's clear up the craft bench. Let's craft off again. And I've got my little car down over this side. I'm curious if I can do any construction work from within the car. Can I do construction work from within the car? We need to just open up the bench first. And I'm going to put 200 biofuel in there. And then I'm going to drive. Right, apparently I cannot do stuff from within the car. I do remember that I can drive through everything on this one. One of the reasons that I love this bad boy. This thing is awesome. This thing is absolutely fan schmabulous. Okay, so we will jump out of there a second. And how am I going to do this? I got you over there. Power line, you've got four of four on you. Well, that's no good at all. So I need to find out where the four of four are sitting. If I go to that one, invalid aim. So I can't upgrade it, right? And I go to here, and I can't upgrade that one either. 2,300 capacity and 1,400 currently being used. I got one all the way over to there, um, one here onto this uh, unit right here. So I'm going to put down that one there. And then I will take a power line onto here, a power line onto here, a power line onto that one, and finally a power line back there onto that one, like that. Now, does that connect... Wait a minute. Connects there. Oh, it connects down the other side, but I don't actually have a connection over on this side. So, just in case probably be prudent to make a connection round there. Right, wait a minute. No, that is the same capacity that we had before. Right, that's fine. That's all fine on there. So now I want to come out from here and I want to take a and there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.